Hi guys, Stephanie here, aka Cutie Pie. Now, um, I've had some requests for some tutorials, so uh, I thought I'd start my tutorial videos with the ever popular Game of Thrones. Now, I'm going to do the title sequence um, that you, you see at the start of every show you watch on TV. Uh, so yeah, partly because it's not as long as the full song, so for a tutorial it's really easy to play along and you guys can play every time you watch the show. Now I am a new Game of Thrones fan, see my crown, <laughs> um, but regardless of whether you're a Game of Thrones fan or not of the actual show or the books or the story, you must admit that this title sequence and this song is an amazing piece of music. So uh, yeah, I'm going to be playing on the Lodi whistle. Uh, if you do want to play along with the backing track, I've always found that um, a B flat whistle is in the perfect key. Although I will admit, I can play along with this, with the YouTube title sequence backing track, but I cannot play along with this when the show comes on my TV. Now, I've got all sorts of whistles in all sorts of keys. <laughs> And I'm yet to find the one that sounds right with the title sequence on my TV. So I presume my TV sounds weird. It's the only, it's the only explanation, right? So for today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys on the Lodi whistle. But like I said, if you do want to play along with the backing track that I've put a link to in the description below, and you do have a B flat whistle, it is the exact same fingering. So yeah, the finger patterns you'll learn on the low D will translate perfectly to the B flats and you'll be able to play along with the backing track. So we're gonna start with the first line of the title sequence. B, E, G, A, B, E, G, A, So we'll play that again. Uh, you can see I'm curling my fingers away here. This is just to show you guys the whole clearly. So when you play, please, please don't do this because you'll find it so, so difficult. This is just to demonstrate clearly for you guys the note that I'm playing. Next, for the second half, we've got A, D, G, F, A, D, G, F, E. So we'll play that again. And if we link that all together, it sounds like this. Okay, so this is the first line and we're going to repeat that twice in the title sequence, just like this. Okay, once we've played that first line twice, we've then got a variation of the first line. So we're going to play the first half of the line like we learned before, just like this. B, E, G, A, B, E, G, A, F. And then we're going to change the ending. So we've got A, D, F, G, F, D, E. A, D, F, G, F, D, E. So add that together and it sounds like this. So 
So for the final line, we need to blow a little bit harder to start with because we need to go up the octave. So you need high E, high D, low E, low B, A, G, A, B. And for the last part of the line, the very end of this title sequence, we've got high E, high D, E, B, E, G, F, G, F, D, E. And when you play that all together, it sounds like this. Now you can also add ornaments to uh, some of the notes that you play. Um, you can use sort of finger rolls, you can use little vibrations, you can use a lot of vibrato in your breath as you waver that through the whistle to really give it a little bit of body and a little bit of fun. Uh, so yeah, whatever you're comfortable with, um, I'd add in your own ornaments and uh, just make it your own, which is what I always do. <laughs> so uh, yeah, once you've done that, keep practicing, practice each little section. And when you have everything together, then go for it and play. And it should sound a little bit like this. So don't forget guys, if you do want to play along with the backing track, you'll need to grab yourself a B flat whistle. I will be playing along to the backing track with this. I'm going to dress up. I'm going to see if I can be one of the Game of Thrones girls. <laughs> so uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed my first tutorial. If you would like more tutorials and you have song suggestions that you'd like tutorials for, then please leave them in the description below. I will always get back to you guys and your suggestions are greatly appreciated. Again, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.